this is the start of where the uh, pipe column started right here where the that water wheel is. And, uh, Replace the old flume and that used to be here, wooden flume. And, uh, so was the flume, where did the flume, was in, in here? It would have started here. Yep. As well, yeah. And went down, let's go for a walk. The pipe column, the, well the flume went straight across level and the pipe column went down, right down just above the water flow back up. All right, let's have a look. Let's go down there and have a look. This is where the pipeline came. From where the water wheel is, down here, across the creek, and back up, and then down into the gully. So sort they of went around and right down into the gully. So Neil, Neil, where did the flume go? Tell me that. Well, the flume would have carried in round about where that uh, grass is, and then went, followed the bank around uh, where those uh, man ferns are. And would have went right around and up in front of the old bank in there. Now this is the old tram line that I used to do the oil down from the mouth to the back. This is the start of the water race where the pipe column comes, uh, finishes, comes out here. And if we go back down that way we can see some of the old pipes still there. But this is quite and once you if you come down here, it's quite a big water race. These bits of pipe that are left here are the, uh, this is the end of the, uh, the main column. 15 inch pipes they were, or are. So when did this go in, in the 60s? In the 60s. Right. Amazing, it's still here. And they were all bought from the northeast coast. Places like Pioneer, Wellborough, St Helens, all trucked down and brought in from Guildford in a log truck. And this is where the uh, the pipes come out into the water race. This is the I thought it was back there but it's here. Yeah. So it's, uh, and the rest of is water race. So where's that? That's the pipe. Oh. See the pipes come in. It's been heaped up with dirt and that there. Fantastic. I bet that tree wasn't there when we put them in. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So you got, you got quite a good size water race. It's wow, this is amazing. Yeah, look at that. Wow. See how and these water races have uh, two inches fall in the chain. Fair go. Yeah. So, oh, it's cut through rock and a lot of work. Gosh, it was a lot of work, hey? Gee whiz. So this went all the way up to Mount Bishop? Yeah, this went right round to the uh, black tank. Oh yes, of course. Oh, there might have been a bit of flu there would have been a bit of flu and go across the gully and that, but uh, it's, yeah, we would have cleaned, cleaned, uh, cleaned these out. And actually, every twelve months we uh, we cut the scrub that grew in them. Yeah. So we go along a little bit further, and then we'll yeah. come back. Yeah. That sure has overgrown. Well, wow. a little bit more light there. Mm -hmm.
So if I kept walking, this would take us all the way around to the black tank. Yeah, well, you come right around, you could walk up and over here. Wow. Enjoy. This looks really look pretty. That Isn't yeah. that beautiful? That must be a bit of a rock fall in the Just a big rock. Uh, this is where the Don Hill working started, uh, mainly in that area. You go down here. This is the original road to the powerhouse and over here oh you got a uh, water race coming through and we would have had a motor and everything set up on the side here but that we pumped out of to uh, work that part of the Don Hill. And, uh, <laughs> so this is a water race that would have come along from the waterfall across through to the black tank. All right, then, well, George Bester, my grandfather, would have walked that track uh, most days while the powerhouse was running. And uh, when the, while the powerhouse was running, they used to turn the power off at midnight. I'm not sure what time they started, it would have been early hours of the morning, but that's and then like when they shut the power off, will you get the gas lights or the uh, old lanterns and whatever to if you want to stay up a bit later than that. Well, this, uh, this is where we pumped out of to work the Don Hill. So we had a Lister motor and uh, that we just had the one motor for, for doing that. This is where we worked the Don Hill, mainly from the water race up to the road, all that air, area there to the brow of the hill, and back this way a little bit. Yep. So ringer in the morning, dredged the river. They dug the river out. Oh, all together? Yep. That's where they got all their tea. Okay. So that was over here? Yeah, it was over here. Yeah. Fantastic. Just beyond those trees. Yep. So, what can you tell us about this area? I mean, like, what's that for starters? This, this was uh, an old um, furnace type thing. They used to light a fire underneath it. Wow. And they used to put the tin on top and burn the pyrites and thing, uh, you know, the um, acids and things out of it, yeah. Right, and that's then flowed out of here? Yeah. Well, they used to shovel it out, really. Shovel yeah. it and, out, yep. and once the uh, tin got burning, once all the sulphur in it got burning, you didn't have to have so much of a fire because it would keep burning itself. Yeah, yes, yeah. Of course. Yeah. Wow, so has this got a name? Well, I it would have had, but I'm not sure what it was. <laughs> so this was where Ringaruma Mining's uh, mill was. So does this, is this a, like a building here? Or yeah, it was a building, yes. It's a building, not a car park. Oh yeah, so there's foundations here. So we'll wander over. Wow. Here it is. So this amazing looking structure. What can you tell us about that? Right, I'm not sure what this one was. I'm pretty sure 
That may have been a jig where the jig was set up. And uh, that over there is where the double tables are, I think. Ooh, but these, yeah, these are jigs. What's up here? Yeah, they're jigs. They're jigs. They're jigs. Uh, they, they, these jigs, you've got a sort of like a tire in the end there, and they sort of going in and out like that, and they breathe. And it keeps the dirt loose that's on top, otherwise the tin will just flow straight across. And you got mesh, and you got ball bearings on top of the mesh, and the tin goes along it, and that breathing keeps it loose, tin goes down, the rubbish goes across the top. Yeah. So do these look like the ball bearings? Okay. Uh, Noel probably knows more about that. Yeah, no, me. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, because it, it probably depend on them what size screens are in. Oh, yeah, course. that's true. Yeah, yeah, and that would yeah. have been—I mean, that's rusty. That would have been a lot bigger. Yeah. 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 Cool. Oh, okay. Yeah, probably was. Yeah. 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 The yard up there at the counter chamber. Yeah, that's looking after himself. Oh, yeah, right? yeah, that's all right. I'm looking after <laughs> Well, I reckon it is. What were they stainless or not? Hey, you guys, what did you find up there? Uh, oh, well, there's still Found some old shot, and that's still laying in here and a bit of material. Uh, still laying on top of the uh, on top of the mesh. Can you show us the shot? Oh, show us the shot. Oh, it's <laughs> only really little. I'll throw some down. Okay. Watch where it goes. Sure. <laughs> well, we're in the North Valley. And this is where Ringaruma Mining is working. And these are jigs. And there's still some uh, bit of material left in them. Uh, and plus the shot. That's, uh, that the material would, is all part of the jig. Yeah. No. I was going to say how much they treated it an, an hour, but uh, I, I won't. I could be checked on this one. <laughs> Oh, we never clue. Yeah. I don't yeah. know. It's something like 15 metres. Yeah. I know they used to put fibre for it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, right. Well, that, that is like, like a pellet, isn't it? That's yeah, like, uh, it is. Yeah, yeah. Pellets, yeah. Uh, from uh, Port Ladder. Yeah, it's like that stuff. Yeah. yeah. And you reckon these things just sort of move up and back a little bit? or No. Sideways or something? Uh, Rocked? These... Like tyres, yep. they're, they're not tyres, but they they, they, yep. they breathe. Just go in and out. Go in and out, just, oh. causing all the material on top of the jig to be soft, so that the tin can go down through them, through it. So uh, otherwise, if if you did, if they didn't do that, the uh, tin would run straight over the top in, on the dump. So. See down here, Winston, yep. where the shaft is, the little shaft? Yes. See, that's yeah. only probably an inch and a half, two inches. That's as far as I used to move in and out. Yeah. Wow. Well, good. Yeah. Okay. So the tin was, what, shoveled into there? Or? It had been piped in. Yeah, it had been piped into there, yeah. The water or the tin? Not the, 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 the lot. The lot. Yeah, it would be oh, a yeah. slurry. Yeah. It'd come in. It'd be, it comes in. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Okay. And they. Because I remember down underneath here there would be like funnels and pipes leading away. Away from it. Yeah. Uh, underneath here, they're yeah. still there. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, it would have went from here onto the onto the tables, wouldn't it? Once yeah. I don't think it went on tables. No, th no, this wouldn't go on tables, wouldn't it? <clears throat> no, this would have probably went to the cyclone or the. 
or oh, yeah. something yeah, like that. Yeah, could have went through the side. Yeah, and, then, yeah. and they could get the tin fairly clean in those jigs. Yeah. So then they'd probably, I don't, I'm not sure exactly how they did it, whether they streamed it through a box or uh, or just yeah. did, did it with a cyclone. I'm pretty sure the cyclones went to the tables. They fed the table. Did they? Yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. Oh, there. Yeah, there. So Noel, can you tell us about the area? So this is uh, the pipeline that pumped the water into the mill for, for Ringaruma mining. So there's the suction line down there. Okay. So how did that work? Well, the water would have come into there, it would have been all dug out before, filled up again there, but the water would have come in there where Neil's standing and sucked up from there. Fantastic. So what, uh, that's that probably a... probably dammed the river up at that time too, to get yep. more water volume. So that square structure, that metal structure, what's that? That's the frame, that's where I'm trying to lift the foot valve up and down. Cool. So what era would this have been about? What, 1970s? Yeah, 77, 8, something like that. Cool. And next to you, there's this weird looking building that's fallen down. So, what was that one? Well, it's in there. That would have been over this electric motor here, which run the pump. Oh, yes. Right. And this line here is what went through to the mill. Wow, so it went right so oh, through Oh, look at it. Yep. Went all the way to the mill. Fantastic. Yeah. That thing is... I don't know, it's got a bit of a screen on it there, one yeah. side. Yeah. 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 It's heavy. It's stuck in the ground, huh? Yeah, down here is God's country. You get the sun shining, two coats warmer than Waratah. Couldn't be anywhere else. And she's doing what she loves doing. <laughs> oh, Neil. Gee, what have you found over here? Oh, this looks really, really good. Where are we? What is it? Uh, this is the, the Waratah River. It starts up at the waterfall. Oh, it starts beyond that. Maybe down here. And runs out at the Arthur River. What if there's any fish in there? Oh, I have seen the odd fish in there. You don't see it. It seems to be So, is this the area? Uh, this, we... is, this, is, this is the area where we work. Here and back there uh, was reasonably flat when we first started off, but uh, the wash was quite deep. And as we worked in to the hill, uh, actually it started to rise up the bottom, and then it, which is a slate bottom, and then it uh, leveled off, and then the wash got very deep. And then it dropped over into the mountain, and that was where the old riverbed was. And the old riverbed uh, carried uh, all those water, uh, water worn uh, nuggets, a tin, which was quite rich in the bottom. And in fact, uh, a, lot of, a lot of the places there was uh, large logs mixed in with it, and with a quite a, a coarse grain uh, actually to look at it it looked like at the time we thought it's an old pine log but there's no pine growing around here so the interesting thing too is that we're reasonably high up here so yep. so how far away were you actually did you actually bring the rock up to here this height no we brought it down we worked in yeah, it was really quite flat into where our sluice boxes went into into the uh, into the river and, and that so uh, 
it's only when we got back in towards the mountain that uh, the bottom rose up. Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah, it's quite, I was really quite surprised just how extensive this whole area for your workings has been. I mean, the whole area being, you know, nothing like what it's looking like now. And finding your bearings yeah, uh, was really interesting. Yeah, well, that's, that's, what, that's the hardest thing, finding my bearings in that. Okay, so how far away from the river are oh, we from here? Well, we'd have to be 100, 150 metres away, there, okay. r just roughly. And that, but, we, but when we were working, our boxes dropped the tail and straight into the river. Okay, yep. And back then, we never had settling dams, where had we went on a bit longer, we would have had to build settling dams. So what was really too interesting too is that we were near this area where we we went up here and you found a dam, you made created a dam at the top there, and in behind the hill there, there are these workings where we found a trig point, which I thought was really interesting. And today, you went around there with Noel and found some more workings. Well, actually, the workings we found were the, uh, the ones I was looking for, is when we first moved around to the North Valley, it's when we first set up. And, and where we first set up, all we had there was just a, a motor and pump uh, to pump the water pressure up the hill. We had a water race which came from Webster's Gully, which took our rocks away from our screens. And it was a good little mine. It just uh, totally, uh, not as big as this one, but uh, it was a very good mine. Yeah. So you went from Don Hill across to Webster Gully? Yeah. Okay. No, no, oh. no, just up around the corner here. Just around yeah. the corner here? Between and here and Webster's. And yeah. here and Webster's had all the workings there, which you found today, which is yep. very, very good. We had yeah. to and, have us and, another trip. And we found an old battery, <gasps> and that, that was there. And, uh, well, it, it just sort of stands out in, yes. in the bush there and that. So, And I know that's how yeah, I got, got my bearings for there because I know we was next to it and that. And, uh, and there's... Uh, yeah, it was quite, quite good. It's amazing. Yeah. So you were here from 1960? Yep. To 1971? And yeah. so whenabouts were you operating this one? Would that have been in the late 60s or...? Yeah, yeah there's the, the later time that was here. Yeah. Later yeah. time. Fantastic. But yeah, it brings back memories. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you got it. Yeah. So yeah, how old well, would you have been by working <laughs> in this area about? That's a big question. Yeah, it is a good question. Yeah, yeah I don't know. A bit younger. Yeah, a bit younger. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, that's fantastic. But listen, thanks for today. This has been really, really, has absolutely zero idea where you guys actually did work. You know, and the, the big highlight of today, of course, was discovering the pipes down, you know, the race at Oh, Don yeah, Hill. the race, yeah. I thought that was pretty pretty exciting yeah. and also uh, the, that water race you know coming around to the wards of black tank I think they'll be that's great so it's very very interesting and then our trip up here to North Valley and I'm going wow you know finding the workings it's been very very exciting so yeah. we've still got more to discover so yeah. we're gonna have to go back there and have a look check that out up check there that out. yes yeah yeah, yeah that's, that won't be a problem no uh -huh. no and it's really good too where you and Noel you know sort of yeah you know, sort of side by side there at one stage at the end, helped um, ring a rumour line out and um, and he was involved with that as well, so it's yeah. been great. Yeah, well he had, a, he had a bit to do with ring a rumour line, you know. So. Yeah, so that's yet another story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yes. So but I really thank you so much for today. It's yeah. been absolutely wonderful. No, no worries. Terrific. Thank yeah. you, Winston. Good. Go. Me? <laughs> We've had a really, really good day today, actually. But what was really, really interesting is that there's a lot, I loot a lot today, you know, and it was really great that you guys were here to um, to be able to fill us in about a lot of things that we knew were here, but we didn't know where they were. You know, and also to think about, you know, the, the Lisa Don Hill that you ran in the 1960s and crew, and then um, and then down here finding the, how you brought water up, which we discussed in the first movie, water up towards, you know, Mount Bishop, which was thought was a black tank, which thought like wow you know in the water race and knew there was a water race but you know there was no water race but there was a lot to learn today it was um it was really good yeah you mentioned the guys who are the guys oh the guys oh well we can't have any video any movie without introducing the stars okay so we've got 
No, and Jerry Fine. Okay. And we have Winston here. <laughs> and we have Neil and Lynette Machen. And we've had a great day. What do you think, guys? Do you think yeah. you've had a good day? Yes, yeah, it's been good. Yeah. 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 It's quite, it's very quite interesting. Quite yeah, good. Good. And it's good to see back, you know, all these years later. Yes, yeah, yeah try, try and pick things out again. Yes. Yeah. So, Jane, what was the highlight of your day? I enjoyed it a little bit. Yeah. yeah. This was just scrambling around the rocks. Yeah. But, you know, just having a really general look around. Yeah. Same way Noel used to work. Yeah. And Noel, thank you for what you showed us there today as well. So, it's have okay. you... Um, it's okay, I probably didn't remember a lot of it, but uh, yeah, yeah, it was very interesting. I, yeah, I enjoyed it. Yeah. yeah. And, and Neil, what about you? I mean, there's a lot of sort of finding your place, wasn't it? Remembering where yeah, you were. Yeah, that, that, that was the main thing, it's just sort of remembering, because it had been, it changed a lot since I was there. And, uh, just remembering where we were, but we got it in the finish. Yeah. Yeah, yeah so we, we got it. Yeah. So, there's another question too, like, what were your memories of when you first came here? I mean, those sort of questions, like both of you, I mean, you were here for you, you guys were here for you, right? Yes. So we, you came on the scene, so, you know, your memories from, well, in your early days. Of Warrigar? Yeah. Oh, right. And my, well... You were born here. Yeah, you were born here, but uh, yeah, my memories were just to the, uh, the tributus working on Mount Bishop and, uh, they would uh, be blasting and that, and you get that blasting sound echo across Waratah. And then you had the battery when they were feeding the battery, uh, that thumping away, that would echo across Waratah. And then there was the um, smoke from the cow seed, uh, which would mainly stayed in the gully. And uh, but that was something that you had to keep a keep out of, otherwise. In the, Make your eyes water and uh, catch your breath. What did it smell like? Was it like sulphur? It was sulphur. It was sulphur. Yeah, and that's, right. that's what killed all the vegetation in the in the gully there. Mm -hmm. and that. And so it's quite obvious it never come up here around the township, so it, otherwise it killed all the gardens. Yeah. So yeah, what about your good. early memories of the day of Waratahn? Just oh, my right. one. Eh? <laughs> 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 well, when I we first came up here was before we got married and we'd come up through the through the gorge and everything. And I know I used to like it. It was sort of peaceful when you when you got back up here. But I, I mean, I didn't know a lot about anything until after we got married and then we lived up here and that sort of thing. Yeah. And you told me about the contrast between being down on the coast oh, and then yes. coming into the uh, to mountainous region. Yeah, because when you've been surrounded by water, like I was, it was really hard to acclimatise to not being able to see water unless you've, unless you've been in that situation. It's hard to describe it really. Thanks for all the effort you put in for today. Oh, You've no, well. no, we've, it's well. been really exciting. I mean, it's, everything's exciting when you yeah. discover these things and, and okay. uh, to be able to yeah. uh, showcase them. So we thank you for doing the filming and yeah. it's been fun. Yeah. But thank you do know yes. what? The journey's not complete. We have to actually go back, oh. don't we? <laughs> because we've still got a few things to find, yeah. you know, on that road and, uh, and going up. So, you know, where we visited a few different places previously, going back with different eyes mm. and I think that's um, the key thing we're going to do. Very good. Yeah, good love them. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you everyone. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you Winston. Yeah. Thank you Winston.